Folks, I can confirm the Gerson Rosas and the Minnesota Timberwolves are still alive. They did something. They made a move, a big move, one I love. Today, they traded for Patrick Beverly and gave up forward Juancho Hernan Gomez and guard Jarrett Culver. And I think they nailed this one. So, how did this all go down? What's was it going to work? What's it get for the Wolves? What's it get for the Grizzlies? Is it good? Is it bad? Let's get into it. So I'll pull it up on the trade machine just to show the salaries going in and out for both teams. And we can really just get a look at what it looks like. So here it is. Pat Bev to the Grizzlies. Or, my bad. Pat Bev to the Wolves. Wancho and Culver to the Grizzlies. So the Wolves bring in Pat Bev. And he 14.3 in salary. Wancho and Culver. 6.1 and 6.3. About 12.4. Look at that quick math there. Solid. Culver, Wancho, both guys that... I would have given up for about nothing. I'm glad they're gone. They weren't really going to have roles at all on this team. Great. Good to get them out of here. Wancho already frustrated as hell with the Wolves after not getting a play in the Olympics. Culver, his role was re reduced to Adams last season. He got nothing once Finch came in, really. This is great. I love this. And uh, maybe I'm overhyping it a bit just because I'm a bit excited that, was, that something happened. They got a great deal here, the Timberwolves. But yeah, Patrick Beverly, 6'1", 180 pounds. And he's been around for a while. He's appeared in 468 games. And I'll pull this down just so you can look at me now. But yeah, 468 games in his career. Holds throughout his career 8.8 .8 points, 4.3 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 1.14 steals. And he averaged 27.6 minutes. He's been around for 9 years. Houston and the Clippers. Yeah, dude's been around. He's now 33 years old. And last season was one of his better seasons. He did average... Let's see here, 7.5 points, but he shot .397 from 3 on nearly 4 attempts. The dude was good. He was really good. And the thing he's known for the most, Patrick Beverly, his defense, and being an absolute just nuisance on the court. Being just a freaking insane dude going after it. Intensity constantly on both ends of the court, and I love that. These are my some of my favorite types of players, the dudes that just get after it and go. Just the insane guys that just don't care and just go play. I love this for the Wolves. I think this is great. There were a few things the Timberwolves were really lacking, I think. Defense, check. Veteran leadership, check. Overall toughness, intensity on both sides of the court, check. Pat Bev checks off all three of those important boxes, and I think that's great. How many players fit the mold of that position better than Patrick Beverly? Now, I don't know what his role is going to be. He's going to get minutes. Last year, how many minutes did he play last year? And I'm just, I haven't gone through this all yet. I'm kind of just doing a instant reaction to all this but last year 22 and a half minutes it's a solid role so i like it i think pat bev's gonna slide right in probably play shooting guard small forward help whatever they need him to play really anything maybe a little bit of the four just really throw him out there look good be crazy cool i think he'll have a very nice role him second unit's gonna consist of beverly beasley nas reed jalen noel it's gonna be a nice it's gonna be a real nice second unit the wolves are building up here i like this a lot maybe he's a starter even i guess i don't know the wolves starters and bench are gonna mingle mix a lot with playing time so then what about the guys the tim wolves gave up number one jared culver the guy they traded up for two drafts ago two two draft three draft 2019 draft anyways jared culver was a very he was a top 10 pick the wolves traded up i think they wanted darius garland he was taken by the Cavs, and the wolves kind of got stuck with jared culver they had high hopes for him, but he always had shaky offensive skills and really shaky confidence. He was solid on defense. Jared Culver was one of the Wolves' best on-ball defenders, but it just didn't work out in the end. It is what it is. Culver was just awful. <laughs> no other way to put it. He was taken out of the rotation at the end. The Wolves just didn't have a role for him, and they kind of just gave up. Rosas liked him for a bit, but even he couldn't consistently, say, keep playing him. Yeah, he shot, let's see, let's pull it up. Field goal percentage, 4.11 last year, 3.245, just terrible. Effective field goal percentage, 4.49, free throw percentage, 6.04. The dude just couldn't play offense. Like, he was a solid defender, sure, but a complete liability out there. And honestly, the defense wasn't nearly good enough to warrant playing him. And it is what it is. As for the other guy, Juancho Hernan Gomez, the second player that came over to the Wolves in the Malik Beasley trade. It was a nice trade. That was a very solid move for the Wolves. Get Malik Beasley, get Wancho Hernan Gomez, two guys who can slot in as role players. And Malik Beasley has looked really good. Wancho, on the other hand, looked alright for his first half season with the Wolves. But last year, he played very poorly and was eventually taken out of the rotation. Started off just terribly. Shot 327 from 3 after shooting 420 with the Wolves the 
previous season. Just 7.2 points. Dude wasn't good. It is what it is. You know, I'm glad Wantrus. I don't think he wanted to be back too much. He was really frustrated with Rosas and the group here because they didn't let him play in the Olympics due to a shoulder injury. And that's alright. Now he's gone. Now he can, he can be frustrated elsewhere. Sorry, Wancho. I wasn't a big fan. I am a huge fan of Pat Bev. I'm trying to not get too excited about it here just because I want to stay a little neutral. But I love this for the Wolves. I do. I think this is exactly the type of player they need. And wow. I mean, what if what if Pat Bev can teach someone like Anthony Edwards how to be an absolutely gritty defender, huh? Look at that. Pat Bev. He's the new Ricky Rubio mentor role, I think. Grittier, better, better defender, better shooter. I'll take it. Two unhelpful players out, one good helpful player in. That's about it how it sum up the Wolves. Maybe there's draft compensation yet to come that's involved. Wouldn't shock me one bit. But overall, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. 226, let's go. But yeah, I love the trade. I think it's great for the Wolves. Peace.